let me say something about the NFL. You owners don't give a damn about the NFL players. You don't care about the fans. The only thing you care about is money, 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 money. And that's why they re-signed Roger Goodell. It's all about money. And I actually did a master's uh, degree paper on the NFL. It was actually my, uh, my capstone paper to finish my degree. And I learned so much about the NFL that now I understand why the players really hate Roger Goodell. I understand completely. Before, I was an ignorant fool. I thought Roger Goodell was doing a good job. He was putting discipline in the league, you know what I'm saying? Bringing, you know, pot, uh, you know some structure to the league. Now I see he's just a dictator and he, he has too much power. He's the what the judge, the jury, and the executioner that rule 46 gotta go. It's unconstitutional. And the so many problems came from this guy, I can't stand him. Like the fact that you you suspend uh Zeke Elliott after legal documentation is proving that he didn't do it. You still suspend him anyway because you think he did it or it was just a little bit of uh, evidence? Ridiculous. Tom Brady situation. I don't know what happened, but they just suspended him just, oh, just because. He has too much power suspending people left and right just because he feels like it. And it's ruining the league. He didn't. He doesn't care about the players. He don't care about the fans. The only thing he cares about are those 32 owners and making them richer. And by 2020, I believe 2027, uh, uh, the NFL will be making over $30 billion. I'm not joking. $30 billion through TV contracts, advertisements, and revenue. That's why they're keeping Roger Goodell. And he's a contra he is supposed to be a balance between the players and the owners. But no, he is 90% owners, 10%. He don't give a damn about the players. And he's supposed to be reinforcing the bylaws of being a commissioner. He's not doing that. And if you listen, reading the trust me, reading is fundamental. You can if you really want to know what the commissioner is supposed to do. Go on, actually go on the website, NFL.com. They actually have the NFL bylaws printed out for you. And some of it's kind of dry, but if you can skim through it, there's a section there that you can read what the commissioner responsibilities are. He's supposed to be doing, uh, he's supposed to be the medium, the liaison between the players and the uh, owners. No, he's not. He's so in bed with the owners, he don't he will do anything to squeeze another dollar. Now this guy is making $40 million per year. For what? He's ruining the league. He screwed up with Ray Rice. Let's keep it real. Screwed up with Ray Rice. So that's why he put the blame on Zeke Elliott with that. Because he's, oh, I'll mess up. So I'm going to put make you the example. What type of a commissioner is that? He's terrible. Okay, Zeke Elliott did some foolish things off the field. I ain't going to lie. But this guy did not deserve to get suspended. And they suspend him. Um, but, but, uh... But Joe Mixon can come up and, and uh, run and do his thing. He hasn't got suspended one time. And both incidents, uh, it's just, it drives me crazy, man. The And then I believe it was a Miami player that was caught pushing his girlfriend in the car doing domestic violent actions, and he's not even suspended yet. Ridiculous, man. The inconsistencies, the the biases, the just straight up power trip. I can't stand Roger Goodell. Honestly, the worst commissioner of all sports. The worst commissioner in all of sports. And honestly, he needs to go. But they extended him. They gave him five more years. That proves to you what the owners care about. They don't care about social issues. They don't care about the military. They don't care about all those other stuff. No, 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 no. They don't care. Trust me, they don't care. The only thing they care about is the bottom line. And when the bottom line is affected, that's when the owners got involved and started standing with the act pretending that they like you. They don't. They just want your money. And that's the truth. And Roger Goodell is part of that monster of cash. And I think he's the worst commissioner in all sports. He only cares about money. And the owners like that, so they're going to keep him for more years. They're going to pay him that $40 million a year. This is a shame. Man, something needs to change. And you know what? If the NFL go on strike, I'm going to be backing him up with them, man. I will, they need to go on strike because this is ridiculous. They got to get rid of that commissioner.